Dental decay is one of the most prevalent and widespread diseases throughout the world. Dentists can repair some of the ravages of decay by filling teeth, but only too often the affected teeth have to be extracted. Let's visit the progressive community of Beaconsfield in northern Tasmania. The Beaconsfield Council attacked the problem of dental decay seven years ago, achieving startling results with the teeth of the new generation. Their story began a number of years back in the house of the municipal chemist. While reading a journal, he noticed an article concerning a chemical called fluoride. Not a new chemical, but used in a new way. For when taken in minute quantities in ordinary drinking water, it could actually reduce tooth decay by almost two-thirds. He knew that the same substance was found as a trace in nearly all natural water, and where it existed in sufficient amounts, people had surprisingly good teeth. After collecting data of a five-year test conducted between the adjacent towns of Newburgh and Kingston in America, he prepared a report for submission to the Beaconsfield Council. The council debated the report submitted by the chemist, which stated that by adding just enough fluoride to the natural fluoride content of the town supply to adjust it to the right level, the prevalence of tooth decay would be drastically reduced. The facts were impressive. Wherever fluoride had been added to a water supply, tooth decay dropped by 65%. And furthermore, investigations which had lasted over many years had shown that fluoride was completely harmless. The scheme was adopted by the Council and approved by the Department of Public Health. As a result, the people of Beaconsfield have been drinking fluoridated water since 1953. However, some people in the outlying areas beyond the town supply are not able to obtain the benefit of fluoridation as they depend on tank water. This has proved a useful means of comparing the effects of water containing fluoride and water with none. Fluoridation is mainly beneficial in the early years when the teeth are forming. It is therefore the children of Beaconsfield who have so far received the most benefit. As they pass onto adulthood, the protection will stay with them and last throughout life. So eventually, the entire community, both adult and children, will be receiving the full benefit of fluoridation. This water comes from the town supply, where fluoride is added in the recommended amount of one part to a million parts of water. At the water treatment plants, the usual flocculation tests are carried out, and a standard reagent solution is used to measure the fluorine content of the water. Fluoridation in Tasmania is controlled by the Fluoride Committee. Daily samples of the fluorine-treated water are examined by the standard Sanchez method, in which prepared standards of known fluorine strength are compared colorimetrically with samples of treated water from the plant. Once a month, a sample of fluorine-treated water is dispatched to Hobart for independent analysis. The correct quantity of fluoride is accurately proportioned into the stream of finished filtered water by a reagent pump. The housewives who use this water can't tell it from ordinary water as it's tasteless, colourless and odourless. In the Beaconsfield municipality there's not been one instance of ill health due to fluoridation. In fact, in a number of different communities in other countries where people all their lives have been drinking water containing natural fluoride in quantities as much as seven times more than the normal amount, there's been no harmful effects. The truth is that fluoridation actually benefits general health, for less dental decay means fewer abscesses and other ailments which are caused by bad teeth.
The Beaconsfield project is unique in Tasmania and has aroused wide interest. Visitors from other Australian states come to see the extraordinary results being achieved. At the local school, these results can be clearly evaluated for children from different areas can be compared. The children who've been drinking mainly tank water without fluoride show all the signs of usual tooth decay found in any community. Cavities that have had to be drilled out and filled and new cavities that need attention. Teeth that need extraction and spaces where important second teeth have been before they decayed too far. These children are no different from the many thousands of others in Tasmania who are not receiving fluoridated water. Statistics indicate that before they reach the age of 25, one child in every four will have lost every single tooth. The teeth of the children from the fluoride area present an entirely different picture. have been drinking fluoridated water since birth. There is almost a complete absence of dental fillings or signs of decay. None of these children have lost their teeth through dental decay and there is no decay in any of their primary or permanent teeth. At the age of 40 they will still have most of their own teeth and not only that but they will have them for the rest of their life. The older children, aged 13 and 14, have only been drinking fluoridated water since the age of seven. Notice how the front teeth, formed before seven years, are badly decayed, and the ones that have appeared since fluoridation are perfect. The effect of the fluoride is to strengthen the teeth. It so hardens them and their enamel coating that most of the dental caries which cause decay simply can't break in. Fluoride investigations have led scientists into industry where water is used in many processes. Their results have shown, as they do in the domestic field, that no matter how delicate the operation, fluoridation does not affect the result. Industry normally absorbs large quantities of water, and so do other uses. This may seem a waste of fluoride. Yet, taking into account every possible use, the cost is only 10 pence per person per year. In fact, the cost of a single filling will pay for fluoride for one person for about 50 years. And there's another side to it. As the effect of fluoridation continues to spread, cutting down tooth decay and promoting better health among more and more people, the community will save thousands of pounds each year in reduced dental accounts. Today, the children of Beaconsfield are well on the way to creating one of the most outstanding dental records in the world, thanks to fluoridation and the foresight of the Beaconsfield Council. What was once a revolutionary idea in dental health is now becoming an established technique in the prevention of tooth decay. With the backing of physicians and dentists, scientists and health organizations throughout the world, fluoridation is reaching into more and more countries. The Beaconsfield project is only one of a vast number which are already opening to more than 40 million people everywhere a new chapter in dental health.